title for this particular unit is segmentation target marketing and market positioning here the course outcome according to bloom's taxonomy is apply so here we can apply the principle of segmentation targeting and positioning to the real world marketing offerings that is various commodities goods services e products and e services as well here uh, the syllabus is segmentation concept and need and benefits gdpb that is geographical demographic psychographic and behavioral basis of market segmentation for consumer goods and services base for segmentation for the business markets level of segmentation criteria for effective segmentation market potential market share then we will learn target market the concept of target market and criteria for the selection in the syllabus there are various concepts like segment marketing niche marketing local marketing and mass marketing also we will learn positioning here we will learn the concept of differentiation and positioning value proposition and last part will be usp that is unique selling proposition so we will start with the definition market segmentation is the process of dividing a broad consumer or business market normally consisting of existing and potential customers so dividing this into subgroups of the customers and these subgroups are known as segments this division is on the basis on the some type of shared characteristics within the some subgroup so we will start with the concept of segmentation the process of defining and subdividing the large homogeneous market into clear, clearly identifiable segments having similar needs wants and demand characteristics its objective is to design a marketing mix that precisely matches the expectation of customers in the target segment new companies are big enough to supply the needs of the entire market but they must break down the total demand into various segments and choose those that the company is best equipped to handle in dividing or segmenting the markets researcher typically look for shared characteristics such as common needs common interest similar lifestyle or even similar demographic profile of the ultimate consumers the overall aim of segmentation is to identify high yield segments that is those segments that are likely to be most profitable or that have growth potential so that these can be selected for special attention that is becoming the target market market segmentation assumes that different market segments require different marketing programs that is different offers different prices different promotion and distribution or some combination of marketing variables market segmentation is not only designed to identify the most profitable segment but also to develop profiles of key segments in order to better understanding of their needs and purchase motivations insights from segmentation analysis are subsequently used to support marketing strategy development and planning now we will start with the concept of stp stp means s stands for segmentation t stands for targeting and p stands for positioning many marketers use this stp approach that is segmentation targeting and positioning approach to provide the framework for marketing planning objectives that is market is segmented in one or more segments are selected for targeting and products and services are positioned in such a way that resonates with the selected target market or markets 
now we will see the evolution of the market segmentation the business historian richard s tedlow identifies four stages in the evolution of market segmentation first is fragmentation the economy was characterized by small regional suppliers who sold goods on a local or regular basis then is mass marketing as transportation system evolved the economy becomes unified standardized and branded goods were distributed at national level manufacturers tend to insist or strict standardization in order to achieve scale economies with a view of penetrating markets in early stage of product life cycle now after this the concept is a segmentation this segmentation concept arises in 1920s and it was there popular till 1980s as market size increased manufacturers were able to produce different model pitch at different quality points to meet the needs of various demographic and psychographic market segments this is the era of market differentiation based on the demographic socio economic and various lifestyle factors after this the era of hyper segmentation that is 1980s plus a shift is towards the definition of even or more narrow market segments technological advancement especially in the era of digital communication allows marketers to communicate with individual customers or very small groups this is sometimes known as one to one marketing so in this particular lecture or unit we will only concentrate on segmentation but before segmentation fragmentation and mass marketing concepts were there and after segmentation hyper segmentation concept is there now we will understand need of segmentation the market segmentation and corresponding market and product differentiation strategy can give a firm a temporary commercial advantage most market segmentations are techniques used to attract the right customers now what is need to understand this segmentation or why to why there is need of segmentation first is because of segmentation to reduce the risk of deciding where when how and to whom a product service or brand will be marketed so to understand this there is need of segmentation also to increase the marketing efficiency by directing efforts specially towards the design or designated segment in a manner consistent with the segment's characteristics so this is the need to understand the segmentation now we will learn what are various benefits that marketers will get after the segmentation first is better matching of customer needs that is customer needs are different creating separate offers for each segment makes sense and provides better solution second is enhanced profit for businesses customers have different disposable income they are different in how sensitive they are to price by segmenting markets businesses can rise or raise average prices and sub subsequently enhance their profits third benefit is better opportunities for growth market segmentation can build sales customers can be encouraged to trade up after being introduced to a particular product with an introductory or lower priced product fourth is retain more customers customer circumstances changes by marketing products that appeal to customers at different stages of their life cycle is a business can retain customers who might otherwise switch to the other competition products and services or other competitive brands so next is 
target market communication that is deliver marketing message to relevant customers here if the target market is too if the target market is too broad there is risk or strong risk that the key customers are missed to avoid this there is need for segmentation then last is gain share of the market segment that is a leading market share is nothing but maximizing its profitability minor brands suffer from lack of scale of economy in production and marketing so pressures from distributors and limited space on the shelves is also always there so why we are studying the segmentation for better matching of customer needs then enhance profit for the business then better opportunity for growth to the marketers then retain more customers and to gain customer loyalty then delivering marketing message directly to the relevant customers and gain the share for the market segment so this is the need of segmentation for marketers then next is basis for market segmentation here we are considering marketers or consumer base so only for consumer goods or consumer products so market segmentation base can be demographic segmentation geographic segmentation psychographic segmentation or behavioral segmentation so there are four bases for market segmentation i will repeat demographic geographic psychographic and behavioral a major step in the segmentation process is the selection of a suitable base in this step marketers or organizations are looking for a mean of achieving internal homogeneity homogeneity means similar within the segment and external heterogeneity heterogeneity means difference between the segments so there should be internal homogeneity and external heterogeneity in other words they are searching for a process that minimize the difference between the members of a segment and maximize the differences between each segment in addition the segmentation approaches must yield segment that are meaningful for the specific market problem or for specific situation for examples a person's hair color may be relevant base for the shampoo manufacturers but it would not be relevant for seller of the financial services selecting the right base requires a good deal of thought and a basic understanding of the market to be segmented market segmentation is creating division market segmentation is about creating divisions a market is collection of consumers this collection of consumers can be divided into different groups using some criteria these includes customer can be categorized using their age they can be categorized using income occupation gender their personalities their usage quantity maybe their age and various lifestyles the basis for market segmentation for consumers as rightly said can be divided into geographic segmentation where we can divide the market depending on the re region city size density of population climate etc demographic segmentation we can divide the market according to age gender marital status income education and so on psychographic segmentation we can divide the market on the basis of purchase motivation the personality of the consumers their perception towards the economy their perception towards the society their perce perception towards the purchase behavior their attitude and their lifestyle then last is behavioral segmentation we can divide market depending on the benefits the usage rate the customer loyalty and consumer awareness state so this is about the basis of market segmentation 
Now we will see each and every base in detail. First we will start with geographic segmentation. Geographic segmentation involves segregating the market into different geographical units. The division of land into different continentals or regions or maybe nations or countries which can be further divided into states and cities etc in the geographical segmentation. This method of segmentation is useful when variation in consumers occur with the change of coordination. Geography influence the way people live and behave. For instance, marketers likely to be different in extreme cold region and extreme hot region. Similarly, differences can be observed in the people of North America, people of Europe, people of Middle East, people of Asia etc. Within India also, people from East, West, North and South may have differences from each other in their buying behavior, in their consumption behavior, in their product usable behavior. These geographical differences retain standardized marketing ineffective. Therefore, for instance, coffee is a common beverage in South India, while tea is more prevalent in North India. So Unilever exploited this difference to market Brookborn tea and Lipton tea along with the brew coffee. Similarly, Bharati Airtel segmented the market on the basis of geography. It divided the India market into East, West, South, North and Central region. The company runs advertisement campaign created in according to the tested and preferences in each region. Dugback Makers of waterproof coats, bags, umbrellas market its product in regions where they are experiencing high rainfall. Also, we can take example of Discovery Channel. They have introduced the Discovery Channel in India first into English language, then followed by Hindi language. But after that, they have introduced channels in Bangla, Kannada, etc. regional languages in India as well. They have not yet introduced Discovery in Marathi. Next is demographic segmentation. Customers or consumers in market may have different demographic characteristics such as consumers are having different age, different gender, different income, different religion, education and occupation. These characteristics are easy to measure and are therefore more frequently used by the marketers. One of the reason for their popularity is the demographic characteristics are closely related to the consumer needs, wants and preferences. This correlation between demographic characteristics and consumer behavior lends support to this type of segmentation. So demographic profile or demographic segmentation is widely used in market research. For instance, income is powerful predictor of consumer needs and wants. Demographic characteristics are useful in locating the target market because they can be easily observed. It is easier to locate the consumers by age or income. Demographic variables, however, fail to describe how people within the segment feel or think. Very little insights can be gleaned in terms of their cognitive behavior. Two people who belong to a particular income class are certainly have similar with their similar respect with their income, but they may radically different from each other in terms of their thinking. <clears throat> if thinking has 
more influence on consumer behavior, then demographic segmentation may offer little insights in strategy development. The intra-segment similarity produced by income is therefore superfluous. Demographic basis of segmentation are briefly discussed here. First is age. People in market can be divided into different age categories. For instance, kindergarten, toys and cartoon channels are directed to kids group while motorcycle and college are aimed at youth. Age-based classification produces segments such as infant or kids or teenagers or adults or senior citizens. So for senior citizens there is a channel called Astha. For children there is a cartoon network channel like Discovery Kids or normal discoveries for teenagers. Also for the age group between 1, 2 and 3 ages, cartoon channel is there which is called as baby TV. And for youth there is MTV where the shows are like splits villa and uh, roadies are there. So according to the age there are channels and for housewives there are n number of TV channels like colors and Alpha TV, Z TV, Marathi and all that. Similarly, gender. It is one of the most real difference between the people. These differences are obvious in varying the responsiveness towards the product and communication appeal. Shaving products will be naturally used by men. Cultural conditioning and social roles also link product categories with specific genders. For example, jewelries, dolls, beauty products, home making products, hair care products have been conventionally linked with women. Whereas products such as gun toys, automobiles, hardware, consumer durables, shaving creams are connected to men mostly. Gender based segmentation easily divides the market to identify what product and services would be typically appealed to these groups. This has given birth to a whole array of cosmetics and beauty product range that target men such as fair and handsome. So fair and lovely is different and fair and handsome is different. So for men there are products like Brule cream, Gamier face wash, Nivea for men, fair and handsome and so on. The reverse is also true. Women have become target market for men's product such as dairy salar, camera, scooters and car etc. Next is income. It is one of the critical determination for consumer behavior. Customer segmentation based on the income categories is useful in gaining insights about what kind of products are likely to be consumed. For instance, incomes influence on people's determination what they are used for the transportation, that is, whether they are going to use a cycle or moped or motorcycle or economic car or luxury car. Marketers thus cater the different income groups by appropriately design their products and services. For instance, Unilever marketers three variants of detergent powder. Now these three detergent powder are Wheel, Surf and Surf Excel. Now they are targeting three economies that is economic class, middle class and top end. So wheel is for economic class, surf for middle class and surf excel for top end customers. It would be wrong to assume that the people with high income are only buying the luxury cars or they are only buying 
premium products and everybody at the lower end spectrum they only buy the lower end products or only buying economy cars cars bought on loans suggests that people do jump into their income boundaries they can cross their income boundaries and they can purchase higher end products in the consumption behavior similarly some people drive small cars as well so there is a need to understand the demographic profile with psychological segmentation now next segmentation is psychological segmentation psychological means measurement of psychological characteristics hence psychographic is about the measurement of inner characteristics of individual inner psychological characteristics such as personality self image perception attitude and motivation play important role in driving consumer behavior psychographic segmentation group upon use of psychological sociological and anthropological anthropological factors to determine how the market is segmented psychological segmentation group upon the use of psychological sociological and anthropological factors to determine how the market is segmented the lifestyle or style of life means pattern of life of a person psychological makeup manifest in what the person does that is various activities what the person prefer that is the interest of the people what the person feel that is thinking or their opinion so psychological segmentation involves measurement of the consumers i ai oz ai oz means activities interest and opinions a for activity i for interest and o for opinions so this was about psychographical segmentation last is behavioral segmentation this method of segmentation uses consumer behavior aspect for dividing the market consumers differ their way of usage and faithfulness towards a particular product divide consumer market into different groups based on the behavioral aspect can be appreciating their uniqueness and its market implications so there are various factors like usage quantity or occasions or loyalty or benefit sort we will see one by one usage quantity consumers in the market can be divided on the basis of usage quantity one of the easiest way to arrive at this division is by breaking the market into light medium and heavy users then next is occasion marketers do not specify the occasion of consume, consumption of a product hence a product category could be used on various occasions market can therefore be segmented on the basis of occasion occasion can also link to seasons for instance consumer durables home decors wall paints are linked with the festivals in india so generally during the diwali or before the diwali festival we are going to paint the walls or maybe some marriage ceremony and we are going to paint the walls titan has also prompt watch buying for various gifting the next is loyalty there are buyers who would never move away from their preferred brand they are called as true or hard loyal consumers who do not want to care about what brand they consume they switch from one brand to another very easily such consumers are called as brand switchers so they are switching from one brand to another brand they are switchers they are stick to a particular brand that is called as loyal loyalty based segmentation has gained importance lately because loyal customers are more profitable loyalty cards and reward programs are tools to gauge and manage loyal customers and lastly benefit sorts consumers may seek different benefits from a particular product the segment includes seekers 
from social benefits protection benefits economic benefits etc for instant two group of customers in to the real estate market are investors and home buyers Inve investors are buying homes because they just want to multiply their investment whereas home buyers buy the home to live in that particular home similarly some people buy gold and diamond jewelry just to invest and some people are buying gold and diamond jewelry for usage so benefit sorts loyalty occasions and usage quantity are behavioral segment in my next lecture we will understand the basis of segmentation of industrial goods we will also see few examples of gdp that is geographical demographic psychographic and behavioral also there are five patterns of uh, this target market selection that we will see we will see the segmentation effectiveness then after that each and every pattern in detail we will see that is uh, single market concentration selective market specialization market specialization product specialization and what is full coverage so these these are the figures for this five patterns for target market then we will see the segment market mass market niche and local market in detail also we will learn long tail marketing then what do you understand by target market then target market served available market and your total available market so what is target market in total available market uh, then we will see what is positioning market positioning in consumers mind then we will see examples of positioning then we will see differentiation what is differentiation then what do you understand by value proposition and usp so this unit number 3 is full of various concepts uh, of usp etc uh, also market potential and market share these are the concepts we are looking for so maybe next week or next to next week uh, we will finish up with this unit number 3